Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see the operation of and ring oscillator. So before going into the experiment, at first what is meant by oscillator? Oscillator is nothing but it works on the feedback topology. Always it should satisfy percussion criterion that is the closed loop gain should be equal to 1 or more than 1 and then the phase shift around the loop should be 0 or 360 degree. To attain oscillations, we will go for an odd number of stages in ring oscillator. So, to while going for a ring oscillator, at first we should design a basic CMOS inverter. So, here we have design a CMOS inverter, it is nothing but combination of PMOS and NMOS. And then here we have used in BSIM models. So, here we can find a BSIM models in the internet web website, you can find it out and you can download it. And then always you please store your BSIM model in your experiment folder. Suppose here in this folder I am going to make ring oscillator so I have in included bsim4 models over here and then here I have given include bsim4 models dot text. So here the name is for my model name is p underscore 50n and then the length is 50n and width is 1 micro and likewise for m2 is length is 50n and width is 500n. So I am using BSIM4 model, so the corresponding PMOS width and length is 50 by 1 by 50N and then the corresponding AWL ratio for my NMOS is 500 by 50. So here it's a basic CMOS inverter, so if we have do it over here, the input is around here to 0 and the output is 1. So it's working as CMOS inverter is working out. So now we are going to design for ring oscillator, so now we will design for an odd number of stages as 5. So I will copy this and then just I will add it up over here, second stage. Third stage. Fourth stage. stage. So now let me cut the out, out, out. Oscillator means always it will provide the output without any inputs. So we won't give any inputs over here but it will provide the output. That is the operation of basic oscillator. But always it should satisfy the percussion criterion. Now I am going to give the last output stage as a feedback to the input stage. I will name this as a oscillator. Yeah. So now here I have added one more, um, one more line over here, or one more instruction, one more uh, corresponding and directive file over here spice directive that means that initial condition initial condition for this loop is v oscillator is equal to 1 so the voltage of this line will be is equal to 1 and then let us start uh, executing close it let me run it so here no input only output you can find output over here and then I want to zoom it you can see it is oscillating and then we can find the frequency for this double click this line so the first one is and then second so here one cycle complete one cycle you can find the frequency as 4.3 gigahertz frequency is oscillating this is the basic operation of a ring oscillator which is operating at 4.3 gigahertz so it's nothing but ring oscillator means f is equal to 1 by 2n into time delay of each inverter stage. As you increase the number of stages, the frequency will keep on get reducing. So if we can implement the same thing by using a 3 stage or 5 stage or 7 or 9 or 11. As you keep on increasing the number of stages, the time delay will be keep on increasing. As time delay is keep on increasing, the frequency keep on decreasing. This is the operation of a ring oscillator. Thank you for watching.